Peace, y'all. Happy, uh, I always got to look at the date because time is flying. Happy July 27th, Tuesday, July 27th. I'm sending you a lot of peace, a lot of love, a lot of sensory, a lot of calmness. Um, let's get into the daily tarot meditation and see what they want you to know. Uh, for whenever you watch this, what medicine do we need to integrate today's spirit through these cards? What would you like to share with us? that can best benefit us and keep us in alignment on our path. Okay, that flew out. So this is the Knight of Swords that just flew out very, very characteristically like um, on brands for the Knight of Swords. I mean, if you look at the illustration, it's quite literally a little bit of an aggressive uh, push forward. You know, almost say, pay attention. I've got something to say. Um, give me a second to kind of um, marinate on this card. Okay, so what I am receiving for this message for today is that some of us, if not now, probably soon, may be thrown into a course of events that are unshakable, that are sudden, that may be chaotic or chaotic-like just because there is um, an incessant momentum that doesn't allow us to catch our breath. Um, this course of events one, there is one. What I'm receiving is that on an external level, on a I guess a universal level, there is incoming energy that is to be expected. Um, that is, we are to anticipate it coming into our lives. That it is, you know, when people talk about solar flares and solar flares cause this and they cause that and. You know, during the time of a solar flare, maybe you can anticipate being a literal irritable or maybe even motivated or, or in, some, in, in some effect. What I am attempting to articulate is that this is on par with that sort of external energy that is approaching us as a human species, as a human consciousness. Whether this is an accumulation of what's going on globally or maybe locally, you're feeling the effects of other people within your community, your tribe, within your group of friends, of them experiencing something collective and now you're getting the wavelength of that. It's almost this message of brace yourself. Okay, we have a lot of energy coming and this energy is a sense of urgency. It's a sense of needing you to wake up and pay attention. This sense of urgency could mean a couple of things. It could be spirit's way of grabbing your attention and helping you to really prioritize what is important in your life. Maybe helping you um, seek more gratitude, teach you how to seek more gratitude and a sense of urgency for your life in and of itself you know we tend to procrastinate and we tend to um not live to the fullest just um by means of what do we how do i say it by means of um taking time for granted we tend to be a little lackadaisical and relaxed and um, a little too resistant and easeful, um, lazy, because we're taking time for granted. As if, you know, time's not against us. As if we're not perpetually growing older. As if, 
you know, we just don't know what can happen the next day. Now, this is not to instill fear. This is spirit's way of saying, wake up. If you wanted to do that thing, if you wanted to initiate that conversation, start forgiving yourself, start forgiving your family, start changing your lifestyle, start that business, write that book, um, take that trip, start changing your life, start spending more time with your children, start spending more time catering to yourself and taking care of yourself. There's almost like a trickle of events where spirit is trying to grab your attention, maybe through the lives of other people, maybe just through sheer awareness of what's going on. Of Hello, this is important. You should have tunnel vision on these things in your life because this is what's going to ultimately fulfill you when you get older. When you get older, you don't want to have any regrets. I lost time. I didn't really get to do this. Um, I spent so much time doubting myself. I spent so much time in fear. And now look, I didn't get to do any of it, right? So there is that energy of urgency, of suddenness. Like, wake up. You, we don't know what time is. Time doesn't exist. But, you know, you as a physical being, you're only here for a couple of more years, right? If you get to live your whole full lifespan as the animal that you are. So it's almost this awareness of what what are you going to do in the now and how can you stay anchored and present in the now to fully absorb and take advantage of your life here? And what how are you going to make the most of it? How are you going to make it count? Again, this could be placing your awareness on things that you've already intended to do, things that you know you need to do and maybe you've been stalling on, right? Knight of Swords would say, listen, you got to... We're trying to push for your evolution. We don't want you to get stuck. We see the higher road. We see the higher level. We see where you can go. And you right here just dragging your feet. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Right? That's that boom. That energy, right? Knight of Swords can also present a little bit of shocking information. You can start getting shocking information from those around you. Learning things that you didn't expect. Um, uh, maybe, you know, somebody unexpected comes into your life. You get an unexpected message about someone. You learn something new about yourself that is a little shocking. Maybe a thought pops up. Maybe a memory pops up. Maybe someone tells you a secret that you didn't expect. Maybe you read about something somewhere that kind of triggers the sense of change in you. Um, so, I mean, take these messages also as information from spirit to get the ball rolling in your life you know to provide you with a sign or maybe a symbol of hope or this doesn't have to happen to you or if this is happening to you this is not it's not too late um so what I was mentioning initially with this external energy coming into our lives whether it be because of the moon or the planetary um shifts in the alignments i don't know i'm not too savvy on astrology really i just incorporate tarot into astrology and just see what the cards have to say about the planets it's usually very much on point um but it could very much be some sort of planetary alignment or shift that is causing us um causing a lot of change to happen and causing a lot of disrupt this disruption and change that um compels you to pay attention, right? I think the key point here is to pay attention. You know, what is the underlying energy here? What is uh, what is the message here for me? Even if it doesn't pertain to me at all, I'm stumbling upon this information today. Why did spirit grab my attention and get me to hear about this or see it or read it or know it or think it or what have you? Like, what's really going on here? What does not inspire me? What medicine does inspire me to take action on, right? What is my medicine here? Um, again, this can be a very motivating card. And when I talk about a lot of energy coming through and chaotic energy, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It just means like maybe you've been living life casually and you get the rug pulled from under your feet and it's kind of go time. All right. So um, 
Knight of Swords, again, can be very motivational in the sense that it is urging you to do that thing that you have been longing for or resonating with, right? Or maybe doubting, maybe maybe doubting, like I'm going to put it aside another day or, you know, I'm finally going to sit down and do what I'm wanting to do, you know, after I take a couple of naps or maybe in the weekend or and then the weekend comes and you don't do it, right? It's almost like prepare, prepare in advance, prepare, prepare yourself, like already position yourself to win, position yourself to start initiating on some of the things that you've been wanting to do, because it could very much be the fire that you need underneath your ass to take you to that level, to take you to the true desire of what you really want. And you may not be seeing the connection between what it is that you're feeling compelled to do and, and resonant to, to act on um, versus the overall end goal and vision that you want for yourself. The two can actually be um, correlating with one another. But if you don't initiate this little flame, then maybe you don't get to that bigger step, that bigger goal at the end of the day. Um this card is also talking about the value of protecting your peace um, because it can also hint at people who are not in the space or incompetent in the sense of unable to control their reactions and to control their emotions. So this talks about volatile energy and this can also have you reflect on where is it in myself that I get triggered and I become volatile or, you know, I become reactive and um, and I don't act and I don't think with intention. All right. So bear in mind that the essence of protecting your peace may look like letting things go and not, you know, not taking things personal, minding your business um sending love and light from afar doing things in silence making moves in silence um really spending some quality time with yourself rather than uh, being in the mix of the mess and this growing population that doesn't seem to be taking the delta variant very serious <laughs> um it could look like doing some protection for yourself um cleansings for yourself you know of course i'm a very big advocate for um cleansing your ass protecting your ass and and making sure that that's just part of your one two step on the daily um and and knowing that you too may be compelled to spew the venom to other people and to be mindful that a lot of people have stories beneath the surface that we're not aware of a lot of people are going through a lot of things that we're not aware of and we don't know what anybody is going through, right? So having, leading with that sense of compassion before you react. Maintaining a level head. This is a time for you to think smart, to use your intellect as your top weapon, okay? Because that's going to take you far, all right? And, um... It is also a message that you are very well protected and to always stop and give homage to those in your lineage that have fought to give you the liberties that you live today, even the smallest ones, to your guides and your morticals that may be warriors and freedom fighters and, uh, you know, este, uh, activists in their own way. Um, this also is telling me that you may feel the urge to really express yourself. It may be time to let something out of the bag, not mask it up, not bottle it up, but truly be authentic, whether it's in a piece of writing, whether it's conversational, whether it's a vlog, whether it's confrontational. Confrontation doesn't always have to be uh, aggressive. Okay, I would not advise aggressive confrontation at this time. But if you're going to have a confrontation, let it be strategic. Let it be intellectually driven. 
and fully articulate where you are being able to express and convey um, your emotions and your feelings and your sentiments in an effective manner.